Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series What If um, Wave uh, Captain Carter. So let's go over the packaging. So first you get the front, which is the Marvel Legends What If logo there, Captain Carter. And then here's a side art of Captain Carter here. Here is the back with that same artwork there with the description, and then all the figures in the wave that builds Uatu, which we already went over zombie uh, Captain America. Uh, T'Challa Star-Lord, we're doing Captain Carter. Uh, we also still got to do Zombie Hunter Spidey, Superior, uh, Superior Strange, Nebula, and we already did Sylvie. Here's the other side. Here is the top with the Watcher logo, and here's the one with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here is Captain Carter out of the package here, so let's go over the accessories. So first, get Uatu's uh, arms, both of them. Go over those once we build them. If I can throw them all the way over there. And then the only accessory that she gets is her shield here, which is like the generic Captain America shield that we've seen before with a different paint job. So you get the blue outer edge instead. White in the middle, you get the red in, in the same spot as usual. And then you get the British symbol here uh, with the nice crisp blues, whites, and reds for it. So it looks really good. The entire inner part is white. Uh, and then you get the uh, wrapped up uh with straps for her instead of the flip thing actually this is a different completely different shield uh as you can tell because in the captain america ones you can see that there's like the lines that go around for the circles on this side uh but yeah you get the straps there and yeah that's all we got for accessories so here is captain carter up close so yeah you get that same like animation style the hair that she has in the show with the nice brown hair from the World War II era hairstyle. And then you get some blush in there. You get that nice jawline. Um, pink lips, lipstick, the eyes look really good. Uh, eyelashes look good too. And then here's the outfit, which looks awesome. So yeah, you get that British sim uh, flag there with the nice crisp uh, red, white, and blues. And then you also get the red and white stripes down here at the ab area. And then you get the straps here to hold the shield in the back. And you get this like buckle piece here. And then you get the reds and whites going around and then coming back up to do the cross here. And you also get the red uh, detailing here around the shoulders. You got pinless joints for both the knees and the el elbows and then the knees. Uh, you get these gloves here too, which you get the get them to go all the way up to the forearm, but this is sculpted on there. Uh, it's just brown gloves. And you get some red in the inner part with some white. And then you get the belt buckle here with some pouches in the, on it. And then here's the pants. You get some red detailing in there, some nice sculpting. And then you get the boots which I like a lot because you get the straps here. And then it kind of looks like a big sleeve, but it's like wide, very wide here when the pants end. So that looks pretty cool. The way the boots are sculpted reminds me of like cartoony, kind of, if you know what I mean. Like it ha it's very wide at the very toe, at top of the foot. Uh, but yeah. That's all we got for looks. So let's go over the articulation. So she has a double ball jointed head. So she can look down that far. She can look up just that far. The hair kind of gets in the way. She can look left and right. You get some head pivoting in there. The hair still gets in the way a little bit. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. There. Wrist can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation. Uh, she also has this hand here that has, like, the uh, two fingers split here, like a peace sign, except they're, like, gripped. Uh, I'll show you what that's for here in a bit. You also get a fisted hand. Totally forgot to go over those. Uh, she has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so she can go forward just barely any. Backwards a little bit, side to side a little bit, too. Some twisting. Legs can kick out that far. Forward that far. Backwards, not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. And no boot cut. Ankles can hinge down that far because the pant there kind of gets in the way. And can go up that far. It's kind of 
being stiff right now. And then ankles can um, pivot. And for that hand piece that I was talking about, it's kind of like you put the shield in there like that and kind of make it look like she's throwing it or fuck, uh, beating people up with it. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to kind of look like. And I almost swore there. Yes, I almost did, but I stopped. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like how that looks. So yeah, that's Captain Carter for you. I really like this figure. Uh, she is getting the second figure actually coming out during the winter. Um, it's going to be the stealth the suit. Uh, she is uh, from the uh, season finale of What If, uh, which is basically what Captain America's outfit was like, but except it's based off of this. So it's blue and silver mainly. Same thing with the shield. So I'm excited for that. I'll be getting it. She also has a new head sculpt for it too with a different hairstyle. So I'll be getting that for sure. Um, looks pretty cool. I do like this look more just because of the vibrant colors though. But the stealth suit looks pretty cool too. But I do prefer this look. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for this figure. Um, the only things that I could really point out that I wish they would improve on is probably the app crunch. Because you can't really get her to go forward a whole lot. Or diaphragm joint, you know. And... Um, the ankles don't want to move a whole lot, especially that one. This one's a little bit more movable. This one's just stiff right now, but like this, you know, this piece here is kind of just keeping it from doing what it's supposed to do. Um, but yeah, that's, and then I think a butterfly joint would be very beneficial for this figure, but I also do understand why they can't do that because of that piece there for the strap buckle for the back. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cool figure. I recommend you get her, um, when you can. If you see her, get her. Um, I know I say this a lot with all the, all my, all the figure reviews, but a lot of them are pretty good. Um, I would say if you're a fan of Captain Carter, for sure get her. She's pretty cool. Um, and this is like one of the figures that will be pretty hard to find, especially since this is like going to be a one of a kind figure. Um, so yeah, that's all I really got. Uh, make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description with for my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. But besides that, thanks for watching.